Welcome to Run the Beat, everyone. I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me today is Mr. Chuck Easley from Easley Law Firm, and today we're talking all about paternity. Now, that's a matter which is under the jurisdiction of Chancery Court here in Mississippi. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you, Troy. Nice to see you again. How often does a case come around involving paternity as an issue? And can you give us some examples? Oh, I do about six paternity cases a year. Uh, usually, um, sometimes when in a divorce, the woman will, will claim that the father is, is the actual biological father and the father is not the biological father. So they do a paternity test to show that if, if is he the father. The funny thing about paternity tests, it can't prove a man is a father. It can exclude him as a father. Hold on, you've thrown me now. What do you mean it can't prove? It, 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 the test is never 100% saying the man oh. is, is, is the father, but it can come up to like 98% that he's not the father. My goodness. So the judge accepts the exclusion part. Have you ever had to do one of these trials in front of a jury in regards to paternity? No, no. Chantry Court only allows jury trials in two situations, paternity and contesting wills. And I've never had one come up in front of a, of, of a jury for paternity. Is there a time limit that they're in place here in the state of Mississippi when it comes to filing for paternity cases? No, uh, usually they're filed when the child's 20, under 21 because it's about child support. But I've got a case right now in a state case in uh, man died and then two people have come forward and they're claiming they're his children and his wife says she don't know anything about those people the only <laughs> way the only way they can prove that since, since he's not on the birth certificate is do a paternity test with him are we trying to find out the paternity because of child support payments or anything what's the purpose of it well, it's uh, child support uh, payments, basically, anything. but also it's um, you want to. Some people want to prove that they are, they are, are the child, are they uh, of a certain man? Oh, basically, so they can inherit money. Oh, so this could go on. I could file suit, feeling towards someone else who could be my potential father. That's correct. I had no idea. That's interesting. Chuck, I want to ask you this question. Have you wrote in about this? If you are an unmarried male and you have signed a birth certificate on a child that you naturally assumed was your birth child and then it comes into question later, what is the court matter called and why do you do in that instance? What do you do? Yeah, file uh, a petition to determine... This is an interesting question. A petition to determine paternity. Uh, a lot of men, not a lot, but some, some men will... They're in love with a woman. She's pregnant. They'll sign it when she has a child. It's not their child, but they will assume responsibility and sign the birth certificate. Okay, because of the love and the relationship that he has with that woman. That's correct. What happens when you break up? Well, are you still liable then for child support? Yes, you are. Because you signed the birth certificate. In Mississippi, if you're married, and let's say a woman has an affair and has a, a baby by another man, the, the man she's married to is presumed under law to be the father of that child. Presumed is the big word. That's right. He has to prove he's not the father. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's quite a complex situation once you get down to it. Um, what type of tests are used to get paternity? Usually DNA, blood right. tests of different types. Hair follicle, things like that. Chuck, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. <laughs> if you want to find out more information, there it all is up on the screen for you. Easley Law Firm is the place to go for family court matters. Back after this short break.